Hello YouTube. I'm going to do a quick update video on the uh, fake Winkler axe. So a few videos back I did a comparison between the Winkler RMD Sayoc and the uh, knockoff version. And uh, in the video I gave them pretty close comparisons based off the information I received from the guy that was selling them, which is a guy named Ancient Smitty on Etsy. Uh, and he's based out of Ukraine. And, uh, you know, I, I emailed him directly and he told me that his uh, steel was U8 steel and it was uh, had an oak handle. And, you know, he, uh, he produced these things. Well, after a little testing, it, it come to find out that he does not produce these. And I think these are like a Pakistani wall hanger uh, that he just happens to sell. I think like most of this stuff. So if you, uh, I have this thing and because it's so similar to the Winkler Axe, uh, it's easier to, to train with and play with this one uh, so that you're not uh, dinging up your thousand dollar axe for no reason. But after throwing it a few times and, and, and chopping with it, uh, one of the scales came off. And these scales are definitely not oak. Uh, they're very uh, cheap wood and they're glued to the steel. These pins that you see are false pins. They don't, they don't hold the wood into the metal at all. You have one copper uh, lanyard hole down here uh, that pushes through. And there's one pin that was here at the top that's barely sunk into that hole. And these are the only three holes drilled. And all these other pins you see uh, are false. They're, they're fake pins. So, uh, I tell you the steel handles well. Uh, I tore up a lot of uh, treated four by fours with this uh, to no damage to the metal. So the steel itself is 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 durable. Uh, it seems like a, some type of spring steel probably. Um, they, they say it's U8 steel, but I think it's some type of spring steel and and the handles and, and everything else is just kind of cheap add-ons. So, uh, I just wanted to clarify because in my other video, I may have given this thing a little bit too much credit uh, based on the belief that it was uh, handcrafted by that dude and the uh, it was actual oak and it was actually drilled through the tang of the weapon, the handle uh, and pinned in properly. But none of that is the case. Uh, so if you're thinking about buying one of these just to kind of beat it up or take it home and, and maybe pull these handles off and, and drill it out yourself and, and replace the handles and then just have a beater, uh, that would kind of be your only option. Uh, if you buy it and you think that it's a comparison to the Winkler R&D, uh, it's not in terms of like you taking it out and, and, and working with it and it actually holding up to um, a beating. Now these Winklers, you know, when people chop with them and they go camping with them, they have problems where it breaks the wood here because it's so close to the head. Uh, but this wood is very high quality and it just chips right on around the area. You won't lose your whole handle because it's pinned in properly. So I just thought I wanted to make, uh, thought I should make this video just to let y'all know so that I wasn't misleading anyone uh and so take that information and do with it as you will have a good one